What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of KM Videos True Stories. Welcome to another episode of KM Videos True Stories. True, 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 true stories. I give a ball, ball, you know what I'm saying? I'm down the street in my city car. Oh, I hit front, back, side, side. For my love, my dog, the pen, the hog, the hog. Check it out. Check it out. That was it. I never stopped. I never stopped banging. I, I started banging hard, then I got so hard that it was a shame. Welcome to another episode of KM Videos. True, 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 true stories. I'm gonna give y'all a story today. I think it's kind of funny, but I'm gonna keep it short. It's a real short story. It's not gonna be long and drawn out. Today's story takes place in the early 90s. So like summer 90, late 90, going into 1991, there's this guy named Kick-Ass from Cinderella Park family. Kick-Ass really lived in the hood. Like that branch, that street he lived on was really like a block or two carved out in our hood. That's really in 60s turf. But he, he helped him and Lil Diamond and whoever helped carve out that block and made that their block, Sentinel Park family. Kick-Ass had a brother named Knuckles from Rolling Sixties. So a lot of guys that had been around and been on deck, they knew of his little brother. His little brother could have been from Sixties, truth be told, had he really wanted to go that route. But now you got homies, and he's younger than me, so now you got homies from the hood that's younger than me that knew Kick-Ass as well, from growing up with him and, you know, running across him in the hood. So now, allegedly, Kick-Ass has several different run-ins with the homies. Several different instances with conflict with the Rolling Sixties. So his name is ringing in the hood, his name is Hot. And for whatever reason, there's a lot of shootings going on in the hood during this time. So this is, this is around the time after Big U and Eddie Boy caught their case, so sometime in 91. And we used to hang at Big Cal's house, rest in peace, on Keniston Avenue. Cal had an older brother named Wayne. Wayne was born in the 1950s. Had long hair, kind of like Lamont Sanford on Sanford and Son. Wayne used to walk slow, talk slow. Like to go get him something to drink, get high every now and then. And so... The word in the neighborhood is Wayne got shot. And it's like, damn, who the hell would shoot Wayne? What happened? And when I see Wayne, I see Wayne limping. I'm like, damn, Wayne, what's wrong, man? I heard you got shot. He's like, yeah, man, I got shot in my knee. Motherfucker pulled up, bust on me, and shot me in my knee. I'm like, who shot you? Kick ass. <laughs> I'm like, for real, dude, like kick ass for real. He said, yeah, man, that's everybody saying kick ass is the one doing all the shooting. A lot of big crap games over there. And so this is where a lot of people came to hang out, shoot dice, try to get some money, have some fun, talk about events that happened over the weekend or during the week, bringing everybody up on current events, right? So there's shootings going on all up west of Crenshaw. There's shootings everywhere, 64th, West Boulevard, Slauson, Fairview. There's just all these different 67th Street, all these different shootings going on. And everybody's blaming Kick-Ass. I'm not saying Kick-Ass was doing the shooting. I'm not pointing no finger at Kick-Ass. I'm just telling you what was going on during that time. So that's why I say allegedly. So now we shooting dice in the backyard one day, a lot of older homies. I'm probably, I might be the youngest one in the backyard that day. Maybe, maybe two or three younger than me, possibly, but a lot of older homies in the backyard. And so we talking about what's going on and all these shootings, who it could possibly be, what hood it is, why such an onslaught, because the 60s hadn't really experienced being on the defense so often or being shot at so often. So now, during this time, there's a lot of homies that's locked up. You know, your peanuts, 
your local BAMs, your Roscoe's, a lot of dudes, your PJs, a lot of dudes are going to, to jail. Either new, new beefs or parole violations. And this onslaught is taking place in the hood. We're not losing lives to no rivals. But we're getting shot at, we're getting popped on. This is an everyday occurrence. So now, kick ass becomes the butt of all jokes in the hood amongst the older homies. It's a joke, like, so you can't take anybody serious at this point that says kick ass and bust on them. Because we're blaming everything on kick ass. Kick ass did this, that, and the other. I remember Cal said, kick ass shot John F. Kennedy. Shit, who shot JR from the TV show? Kick-Ass shot. So Kick-Ass name is ringing. It's this running joke going on in the turf. So one day we sitting in the front yard, we sitting on the front porch, waiting for a crap gang. Me, Slip Rock, Big Cal, a few others. We waiting to get a big crap gang started. And Big Cousin comes and pulls up in front of Cal's house. And he jumps out the car. What's up? What's up, cousin? What's up? What's, what's up, Cena? What's up? What's going on? He's like, man, some niggas just bust on me. We're like, yeah, we're at. He said, shit, coming up 60th. You know, everybody's kind of like smiling and shit. We already ready to laugh, right? It's just the mood of the day. Who bust on you? Shit, kick ass. <laughs> and we all just fell out laughing. Like, kick-ass bustle on you? Yeah. How you know it was kick-ass? Because kick-ass is doing all the busting. Did you, did you see what he looked like? Nah. Well, how you know it's kick-ass? Because he's doing all the busting. <laughs> we just fell out laughing, man. I thought that shit was so hilarious. So now we go to this concert. This is like 1992, I believe. We go to some type of concert at the L.A. Sports Arena. It's me, Cal. Slip Rock, Dika, Bunky. I don't want to put too many more names that may not have been there, but them are the names that I remember for sure. And the homie Cal has to use the bathroom. So we, we huddled up. Man, it's probably about, it might be about 12 of us. Might have been a UG with us, a 111 or 90 or something. We just, we really on chill mode, but we went up there to fight, but we really in chill mode. We relax, kicking it, having a good time, just getting there, but having a good time. And Big Cal goes to the bathroom. Big Cal is taking a while to come out the bathroom. So the homies is clowning like, man, what's Cal doing? Taking a dump? What are you doing up in there? So we go to see what Cal's doing up in there. And Cal comes walking out. And we like, damn, nigga, we was coming to check on you. He said, man, I just whooped on some nigga bad, man. Y'all go in there and get that nigga up out of there. And we like, what? He's like, yeah, man, go check on him, man. I might have killed him. And we like, damn, Cal, like that? He like, yeah, man. Like, who was it? Where was he from? He said, I think it was kick ass. <laughs> and we just all fall out laughing and shit. Because Cal really knew who kick ass was. So Cal know. That wasn't kick ass. It just set the mood off like, all right, y'all, come on, man. We finna tear this place up. And that's going to do it for this episode of Care Mac Video True Stories. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We also have a blue channel, Care Mac Videos, where we profile individual legends, friends, hustlers, things of that nature and give a lot of history of LA gangs on the Crips and Bloods. Uh, again, I want to thank you for watching. I'm out of here, peace and salute.